Okay guys, I need to talk to you guys about this keyboard real quick because, okay, let me just show you it. All right, we got a little gasket. Oh, I don't know what to call these exactly, but they're like basically little gasket tabs, just little circles over here. Beautiful, we love that. Little tiny PCB, can't go wrong with that. Okay, I'm happy with that. All right, we have some, uh, some plates. One's a forged carbon plate. Looks a little rough around the edges here, so I hope that gets a little bit cleaned up. I don't know if you guys can sort of tell, but I'm hoping that's just because it's been used and it's the prototype. And then we have an aluminum plate. I don't know what I'm gonna build today. I think I think Bull wanted me to try the carbon fiber plate. And then what we got here? Is this the daughter board? It is using a proprietary daughter board. I don't hate this. Like sometimes they serve a purpose. I will say though, I don't know if this is on your your list of things. It's not proprietary. Is this one here not? Is this gonna be like the standard for the What's it called? What's the thing when you call pushing it? It's the S1DB available on Canon keys. Oh, can I be honest with you though, Bull? All right, my mistake there. I This connector, if you can, what are they called? It's a Molex, yeah. They're not that great. So in the long, like in the long run for, for this connector, yeah, it, it lasts, I think it's rated for what? 10, easy mate, that's what it's called. I think uh, I was talking to Archetype about this. I think it's rated for like 10 connections. Not, again, not a big deal. And I agree, you should only put it on one time, but ju just as like a little, if I had to pass you some criticism, you know? AP stabs. Well, that's good though, you can still buy it, but I didn't realize Canon Keys had one. That's, uh, that's something I just learned. Also, this is so cute. Bowl, come on, man. I like this a lot. I know this is so simple, but I like that. I normally hate this type of green, but this is, this is so, oh my God, this is really nice. Look at that. Ooh. Okay, dude. Very nice. Interesting little cutouts over here. I'm assuming, what's this for? Like, what's this little like circle cutout over here, Bull? Prevents the switches from bottoming up? That's really cool. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so if you guys didn't notice, this has a cherry lip on it. This is where this keyboard, like at this point here, I don't know what this sounds like. I don't know what this is gonna feel like. This has a cherry lip on it. I don't know if you guys saw that. All right, so that kind of brings down the, the front height. So the effective front height to the stem is like 21 mil, which is great. But then I think the front height to the non part of the cherry lip is 16.48. And then with the cherry lip, it's a little bit lower. So that is a crazy, really comfortable front height for me. This is a little side mention, I guess, to some of the more custom stuff these days. I have been really appreciating designs that take low front height into consideration just because I personally think like, wow, like I can already tell this is gonna be insane. I absolutely love low front height boards these days. So this is already one big selling point for me on this. And guys, again, I'm gonna kind of gush about the visual design on this because I feel like lately I haven't been getting too many keyboards that I'm like visually interested in. Look at that. Look at that thin side bezel. And then you got the nice forehead and the nice chin, all right? Look at that. Look at that bezel. Absolutely beautiful. Love boards that take that into consideration. I can already see too, they use the angled screws, kind of like what we saw on the duality. So this is gonna be that, you know, hidden screw type design, but it, it, won't, it shouldn't interfere with anything, kind of like we saw on the duality too. And then here's the bottom of the keyboard because we actually haven't looked at that yet, yet and that's the the code Gia, one of the code Gios like symbols there. I forgot what this is actually is. I think this happens when Lelouch does something. I can't remember. Again, I, I tried to watch the synopsis, but I only got through like a little bit of it. Accents or add-ons, that's cool. Uh, PVD, or I guess this is like a polish or a P, is this a polish or a PVD? Polished, so the polish is pretty nice on this. There is a little bit of fingerprints, but it's probably for me handling it right now. And then here is that bottom or the back. So this kind of angles out a little bit. I don't know if you guys are catching that. Looks beautiful though. Stunning, absolutely stunning board, bro. Will the logos, are the logos separate actually? 
Yeah, I think the logo is a separate piece. Extra logos or add-ons too? Awesome. Very, very awesome. I think the price point said it was about, it was gonna be 450 for sandblasted and 500 for polished, and it's gonna be soft capped at 100 units. I think 450 for a project like this is completely fair, especially with how much stuff's going on here. And then 500 for polished. I'm gonna admit, I'm not, as usual, I'm not the biggest fan of polished stuff like this. Some people are, this is totally personal preference. So for me, that 450 price with the sandblast at weight is more attractive to me. This looks really, really nice bowl. This is gonna be a group buy. Very, very nice design though. Oof. Here, we'll go through all the stats one more time just to read it out to you guys. All right, all right, all right. So it's gonna be 6063 aluminum top case, bottom case, accent pieces, sandblasted or polished stainless steel weight with a brass internal sheet. The typing angle is gonna be 7.8 degrees, which is pretty comfortable with a front height. So this is without the lip of 16.48 and with the lip, I think it states it's gonna be like 14. I can't really read that 14.8 or something like that. And then the front height to the first switch is gonna be 21.37. So the front height on this is outstanding. I love the front height. Roughly 1.6 kilos unbuilt. And then we're doing a custom silicone gasket mount. Uh, and then other features, hidden screws, so buy on bolts, seamless top and bottom case, interchangeable GIOS logo, and then a screwless S1DB with easy made to JST, which is probably my least favorite part about this board, honestly, is this daughter board, but it is what it is. I didn't know that Canon Keys was selling replacements to this or had these in stock, so I'm here for that. That's something I learned just now too. I thought this was just designed for this board. So the fact you can buy extras is good. Easy mate, not so good for me though. Uh, and then we have silicone gasket mount, which is awesome. And then the layout will be MX HHKB wind keyless. And there's also gonna be a black and indigo color. Wait, I didn't read this part. Is there not gonna be this green then? Oh, cool, you're gonna include an authentication card in here too. Green is there? I don't see green on this thing. All right, all right, let's, let's start building this all up. Out of all the anime inspired boards that I feel like have come through here, this is definitely one of, if not my favorite so far. But I am biased because I also really like Code Geass. And then switches. This looks so nice with the red PCB peeking through. I don't know what Gondo's PCB color will be for this. I'm assuming it'll be like the typical black and I think Gondo uses gold traces. Um, so I don't think uh, the red PCB will make a appearance for the final build. PCB will be purple with gold traces. Oh, that is nice. Okay. Also guys, just make sure when you guys are soldering things in, I like to make this a little PSA. Just make sure you guys are making sure all the switches are flush. Very important, very, very important. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands really quickly now that I've touched all this. Oh, they're magnetic too? Bowl, you're spoiling me right now. Oh my God, bowl is a... Uh... This is great, this is a great build experience. These angled screws are these Bion bolts. Very nice. Very nice. There's even like, okay, I like this too. This is a very minor thing, but see these little raised parts over here? This kind of helps align it. Really appreciate that a lot actually. So there's no need to kind of fiddle with this. And so there you go. There's your alignment kind of area. I like that, the guides. And this just sits like this and we screw everything back in. This is awesome. What a good build experience. Very, very nice. All right, here's the finished product of this. This looks, I mean, this looks really good with the lime. Normally not a huge fan of lime green, but my God, this is hitting different for me right now. Look at this. The little lip on the front over here. We also have the cherry lip on the top over here too. Beautiful side profile, which is kind of recessed back over here. So it gives it some nice depth. So it still has that box on wedge look, but a lot of character going on here. The bottom of the board. 
Come on, bro. Look up my nose. It's crazy. Very, very nice. The back of the board also is no slouch too. So really nice character on the back too. It's a beautiful looking keyboard, man. It really, really is. Dude, I've watched this anime. Funny story about Code Geass for me is Code Geass originally, I didn't want to watch it. And the reason why was because the, the animation and just like the, I don't know, the design of it didn't really feel like something I'd be interested in. I, my friend ended up convincing me to give Code Geass a try. I tried it and fell in love within like two episodes. I was like, I am hooked. I need to know what happens. And then I think we binged it that entire, like, well, when we had time during the week between work and stuff, this is years and years and years ago. Loved it though. What an amazing anime. All right, well, here's the board. Um, this is gonna be with uh, the new switches that Bull's working on, I guess, which are called the fade switches. Let's see what this looks like from the side as well. Ooh, this does look absolutely stunning. Give you guys a little HJ test as well. That already sounds so good. These gaskets are really nice. All right, let's see what this, this is gonna actually sound like now. Ooh, I'm excited. Ooh. Hold on, I wanna tune up the space bar a slight little bit more, but I really like this. Miss Spacebar, really? I think the Spacebar is absolutely phenomenal. That's fair. I think you can probably tame this. I think Bull ended up using a 3204 lubricant for this switch. And I feel like if you were to use a 205G0 or just something not as like, or even just go a little heavier on the lube, you'd probably uh, lessen the the pop on this guy. But I, I don't know. I personally think this is phenomenal. The alphas sound really good too. The Vantage was really good too though. Yeah, the Alphas sound absolutely so good on this. So it's comfortable. I think the, the most comfortable thing about this is gonna be this absolutely crazy front height. Like this is, a dream to type on already, I can already tell. Like you can tell a lot uh, by usually how your wrist is elevated sometimes. This is already super comfortable. The gaskets feel good. I would say this feels a, a bit stiffer if you guys were wondering, if you guys were interested and just want to know what this was. I wouldn't say this is like, again, super bouncy or anything. The gaskets are doing their job though. They're isolating things. I think Bull mentioned in his PDF that there was gonna be a some different gasket variances, but I don't know. I'd probably stick with this one here. I think if this was any softer, I probably wouldn't love, love it. Cause you can still see some slight movement with this, but. Oh yeah, really quick though, before we get too into this, if you guys are interested in Bull's project, all right, let me just quickly bring this up again. If you guys are interested in it, Bull's gonna be having this on his website. Bull, if you wanna link your website again, the group I already started, and it's running until December 4th, I'm pretty positive. I personally think this is a winner. The only thing, the only one thing that I don't like about this board, but Gondo's gonna be making a different variant in the future, is the daughter board. I just don't like easy make connections. It's just, the, it's the only gripe I really have about this, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna forego that just because the rest of the board's like pretty much perfect to me. Yes, it does have an easy make connection, which I don't love but everything else is absolutely stellar about this board. It's phenomenal. The theming is great on this. 
Uh, the overall design is great. Even if you didn't like Code Geass, absolutely insane, dude. Love the side to top bezel ratio. It's so nice. Yeah, the bezels are phen phenomenal on this. Uh, the low front height is to die for as well, man. It's great. Bowl, I think you knocked it out of the park with this, man. Truly. All right, guys. Enjoy. Have a good one. See you, everybody. We'll talk soon. Love you guys. Bye-bye.